Hello, Dazzle. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. I'm glad that you're here. Today, I am going to be talking about existentialism. Again, still some more. But today, I want to talk about it more in context of how it can help people think about and relate to their chronic illness. Because the reality is, is that most people who struggle with chronic illness have also had to face an existential crisis. Most don't call it this or realize that there's a name for it, but most of us share this experience as we move through our journey of grief. We have to face the world as it is, brutal, raw, and unfair. What meaning and purpose can there possibly be in a universe that slays children with leukemia and slowly crushes you beneath the EDS heel? But here's the secret. There is no meaning. None. There never was. While this at first glance seems like a terrible and dark truth, I assure you that it is liberation. Because there is no meaning or great purpose you have no standard to live up to. There is no ideal you. There is just the you that is. There's no external force that is dictating the rules. And that means that you get to write your own. You get to make them whatever you want them to be. So how does this work? When we get a diagnosis of chronic illness, we're told that there is no cure. Whatever we're dealing with, yeah, that's forever. And it's probably going to get worse. Everything that you imagined your life was going to be isn't going to happen the way that you thought it would. Fine. Start by mourning that self, that dream, that life that you're never going to have. Then say goodbye to that self and that life. Embrace that you are going to be different and start writing your life rules surrounding the person that you are now. Because you still exist. You're just not going to be the person that you thought you were. So if you can no longer run, don't make happiness about running. Find another purpose. Discover passion and curiosity. Paint, sing, write, or just stand as your new standard for happiness. Grasp onto each moment of life and experience it with full ferocity. Don't let go. Feel everything that this life has to offer. Enjoy the touch of the warm sheets against your skin and the flavor of the tea upon your tongue. Live fully in each moment that you're in given and embrace the life that you have. You are the only person who can give meaning to your life. And that means that you are the only person who can take that meaning away. Live passionately and sincerely. Be your authentic self. Dig deep and discover what that means. Only you can answer this question for yourself. But because you are the one that takes the meaning in your life, your chronic illness can never take it away from you. And neither can anyone in your life. You have all the control. Write your narrative with intention rather than just letting it happen. Please don't write yourself into the role of the despairing victim. Choose a purpose that brings you joy and give your life the meaning that allows you to look at yourself with pride. Well, that's about it for my rambling today. Thanks for coming and spending some time with me. If you like my rambling, then click on that like button because it really does help. And until we talk again, you guys be sure to take care of yourselves. Bye!